Good morning, beautiful. Hi, I'm Jordan James, and this is Good Deeds Buffalo. I want to thank the Variety Club Buffalo for sponsoring this episode and allowing me the opportunity to take the time to give back and highlight the good deeds of the city of good neighbors that often go unnoticed. On Good Deeds Buffalo, the Buffalo Western New York community will nominate someone for their good deed. This person would be involved in the community and oftentimes are a beacon of hope and kindness. At random, I will select someone to showcase and thank. Enjoy the show. On the last episode of Good Deeds Buffalo, I sat down with Jalen Law. Born in Buffalo, New York, Jalen Law's first sketches were circles at the age of two, and by the age of five, he was creating his own comic books and children's stories, selling them to kids in elementary school for Lunchables and extra computer time. He is a graduate from the University of Buffalo, and for the past eight years, he's been live painting and displaying his work in international exhibitions. The theme of Jalen's artwork involves visually powerful images that attempt to force the viewer to think about uncomfortable issues without deflecting their own feelings and currently is working on a research-based art program called the Emotional Intelligence Program to help equip students with social and emotional tools that will assist them inside and outside the classroom. He recently received the Artist of the Year Award from Art Services, Inc. To learn more about Jalen Law and watch our interview online, head over to goodDeedsBuffalo.tv. Now... In this episode of Good Deeds Buffalo, I will sit down and talk with Diane Cuchill, decades-long volunteer and past chief barker of Variety Buffalo, the children's charity of Buffalo and Western New York, which has been serving the needs of Western New York's sick, disabled, and disadvantaged children for over 90 years. As the area's leading children's charity, all of their donations stay local and go directly to equipment and programs that our region's special kids need most. The beneficiaries of Variety support include John Oshai Children's Hospital of Buffalo, the Variety Tent No. 7, Robert Warner MD Rehabilitation Center, and other children's charities. Their annual Variety Kids Telethon is the longest running locally produced telethon in the nation and it's their flagship event, a real Western New York treasure. And it all started back in 1962 when Dr. Robert Warner asked Variety to help him fulfill his dream of a rehabilitation center for children with special needs. The first annual Variety Kids Telethon raised over $80,000 and the Robert Warner Rehabilitation Center for Children with Special Needs became a reality at Women's and Children's Hospital of Buffalo. Each year, the community comes together to rally support for our region's special kids. Thanks to their supporters and partners, the Telethon raised over $1 million in 2020, and the 2021 Telethon raised $787,000 for the Variety Club of Buffalo Tent No. 7, supporting Oshai Children's Hospital and other children's charities. They have touched the lives of millions of children, their families, and the community over the years, and are only able to do that because of the support of the public. In fact, thanks to the tremendous generosity of Western New Yorkers, Variety Buffalo ranks number two overall among U.S. Variety tents in dollars raised per capita. Meet Diane Cuchel and learn more about Variety Buffalo right after this. Joining me now in studio is Diane Cuchill, decades-long volunteer and past Chief Barker of Variety Buffalo. It is a pleasure to have you on the show and to learn more about Variety Buffalo. I've heard so many great stories and I just had to share with Western North the incredible work Variety Buffalo does. Well, thanks for having me, Jordan. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, unfortunately, our current president, Paul Cambrio, wasn't able to be here today. so. You're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is not a problem. It's, like I said, certainly a pleasure to have you, Variety Buffalo, on the show for you to present them, represent them here today. Um, what is Variety Buffalo? Okay, Variety Buffalo is a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to um, enrich, um, uplift, um, and help disadvantaged children, children with illnesses or disabilities. Okay. And when was Variety Buffalo started? Variety at Buffalo was started in 1934. We were the seventh chapter of Variety. Variety actually started in Pittsburgh in 1927 by a group of showmen okay. at the Sheridan Theater. Um, a child was abandoned there, a little girl was abandoned there, and they had 
these 11 showmen adapted the child. They adopted and her. They adapted her. They named her Catherine Variety Sheridan. And as a result, um, the word got out about this organization that was helping children. And uh, Variety Buffalo was the seventh chapter. So we've been around for a long time, 87 years, I believe it is. And um, we're going to talk more about the telethon yeah, being absolutely. the 60th year, but we'll get more into that, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Now, what local children's charities does Variety Buffalo support? Okay. The majority of the funding that we raise goes to the Oshai Children's Hospital, okay? Okay. And then the other, we, we have 20% uh, of what we raise throughout the year goes to other local children's charities, including Boys and Girls Clubs, Born Hava, Camp Good Days, wow. um, Excalibur, so Big Brothers and Sisters. So all these organizations for our children here in West New York, Variety Buffalo is able to fundraise and, and give to those organizations. Exactly, exactly. And it's just a powerful way to do it. And I love that, like you said, Paul isn't able to be here today because he's working. And you guys are so dedicated to the mission of Variety Buffalo, but, you, but it just shows how dedicated you are. And I, I truly appreciate that. Thank um, you. Now, how long have you personally been involved? I personally have been involved since 1981. A coworker of mine um, knew my love of children. Okay, and she says, oh, you're a perfect candidate to join the Variety Club. And I go, well, what is it? And she's explaining to me, you raise funds, but it's, there's a lot of social, socialization that's involved. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, I joined in 81, this is 2021, how many years is that? <laughs> <laughs> and it really is a lot more. When I first joined, I thought it was gonna be strictly hands-on with the kids, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's, we do do some hands-on with the kids with our Variety at Work program, but the majority of it is fundraising, and mm. the people that you meet and you get to know and work with and for, they're wonderful. Wow. Everybody's so compassionate and caring, um, women, men, kids, kids helping kids. Kids so, helping kids. Yeah. Well, it is so wonderful to hear, and you, like you mentioned, you started with, you thought it was just gonna be helping kids, but then you quickly realized it was more. But what I really like is you didn't jump ship. You kept going, Diane, mm -hmm. and that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about Variety Buffalo, I can tell you're very passionate about it. Why is it? Why is that? Well, like I said, um, it's the kids. I personally, my nephew was diagnosed in the 80s with leukemia. He spent six years in and out at children's, the former Children's wow. Hospital on Bryan Street. So I saw firsthand, I used to take my lunch hours at the time I was working at Blue Cross and Blue Shield. I would take my lunch hours and I would take food over for the whole floor. You'd and they, the they'd, look, floor. they'd look for Aunt <laughs> Dee and say, oh, there she is. And I felt like I was the Pied Piper, you know, with the kids on the, on the eighth floor, I believe it was at Children's Hospital on Bryan Street. Oh, wow. But there's so many dedicated volunteers. I mean, there are people that have been around a lot longer than I have. Rose DePala, Carol McMahon, Richard Goldstein is our executive director. He actually started as a member of Variety. Sam Geekus, um, who owned King's Court, he's oh, wow. been around a long time. They've been around longer than, than you, but than I have been, and they're still involved wow. very much well, so. Well, thank you so much. Now, with their work, Variety Western New York has, has several pro ongoing programs to benefit children in Western New York. Can you tell me more about the programs? Well, we have a, a hockey program. Um, it's inner city children. Okay. Um, I believe Darius Pridgen, oh, you okay. know, came to us and had told us that he had some kids they were interested. Um, it was formerly the Boys and Girls Club that the kids were, but um, the kids go every Saturday. They go by bus. Um, we have volunteer coaches. It's a lot of fun. Our variety at work program, what we do, that's the hands-on portion. Um, well, unfortunately, 2020, we weren't able to do it, but we usually take a couple of hundred kids wow. and their families to the Bison's Night at the to the, night, the, night, the Bison's Night. Bison, bison Night for oh, variety. Wow. That's a lot of fun, and we're hoping we can do it back again in 2022. Well, that would be ex excellent um, to see. We have um, hands-on. We have a, a picnic at our club rooms. Um, or not a picnic, uh, a Christmas party at our, our club Wonderful. rooms for camp here for the kids okay. from and their families. Uh, we have the Born Have a Picnic every year um, that some of our variety women go to and help out. Okay, so, yeah. so there's definitely some great programs and keep, you know, places right. that variety is helping out throughout the year. Right. Um, now, 
with, we mentioned this earlier, but with the Variety Club's annual Variety Kids Telethon being the, lo the longest running locally produced telethon in the nation, what does that mean to your organization? All of our volunteers have been working since 1962. Well, probably 1961. Dr. Warner first came to us in 1961. Our first telethon was held in 1962. So this in 2022 will be our 60th and we're really looking forward to it bringing back some of our our past celebrity kids from the past 60 years oh, that wow. are now we have grandchildren of their own <laughs> but you know there there's a misconception that all of the money that variety raises is done at the telethon mm -hmm. we raise money throughout the whole year okay we're raising money um, people are sending in donations memorials unfortunately but you know, they do remember variety. A lot of people remember variety in their wills okay. and or send in donations because their loved ones were were either involved or thought highly of the Variety Club. The core function of Variety Club is to fundraise. Correct. And not only are you doing it on the telethon, mm -hmm. but all year all long. All year round. That is so powerful. Now, with the telethon, you it seems like you've had a few. Do you have any favorite telethon memories? I'm going to think that my first telethon was in 82 or 83 in the 80s. We had people oh, wow. like Michael Landon, the La uh, Land Lander sisters. Oh, wow. We had Rip Thorne there. Burt Reynolds. Oh, Burt can't Reynolds. forget Burt Reynolds. I remember telling the judge wow. about Burt Reynolds' help. <laughs> my knees it. don't buckle very often, but when he took my hands into his, my knees buckled. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anyway, love it. Um, there, there's a lot of memories, but I think the most important memories we have are the different children. Each year we pick a celebrity child and um, they become part of the Variety family. We've had so many, so many wonderful kids. We've had um, Kelly Morris and Laura Slack and I mean from all different areas of Western New York they come from, mm -hmm. um, Niagara Falls. Middleport, uh, Lockport, uh, the South Towns, um, um, the Smith boys came, um, Ashton came from Salamanca. Okay. Okay, I mean, we have kids that come, and this year we have a new child, a new celebrity child, and wow. I just found out, I haven't met him yet, his name is Giovanni Fiore, I believe, that's okay. how it's pronounced, he's five years old, he's from the town of Tanawanda. Town of Tanawanda. I can't wait to meet him, I heard he's a spitfire. Well, that's excellent, and um, we'll be able to meet him later absolutely. on um, in 2022. 2022, right, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of, um, we're going, we're planning on having a gala okay. for our 60th, the Friday prior to the telethon, it that, would be March 4th. That actually leads right into my next question. What other events do you have throughout the year to fundraise and give back, okay. you know, leading up to okay. the telethon? Well, as I mentioned, we have the cruise nights. We have um, a polka, drive through polka, uh, Polish dinner. Okay. That was fun. We have um, um, barbecue chicken dinner. Ooh, love okay. that. Okay. Yeah. We've Some had. Some chevettas, I hope. Pardon? Some chevettas, I oh, hope. No. <laughs> no. No, not chevettas. <laughs> um, or, wait a minute, maybe it was chevettas. Um, One of those great chevettas. It was chevettas this year. It was chevettas this year. I, I take that back, and I do love chevettas, by the way. Um, but we also have um, the Variety Women, mm -hmm. which is an auxiliary, uh, an extension of the Variety Club. Okay, without the Variety Women, we probably wouldn't have a Variety Club because they, they're they, right there to help with everything. They are the but core they, almost They the just had a, a, a holiday tea that had like 250 people at it. It was, it was so good to be out there and see the people again, you know. Yeah. Um, and then we have a uh, cocktail party coming up. Okay. The, women, the women will have their cocktail party. We're hoping to do a Polish night, uh, uh, with a Pol Polish dance we had one a couple of years ago. Okay. Um, Terry Buckwald has been a big supporter of Variety. That's um, exciting. He's had different concerts for us um, at, the, at the club rooms. Okay. So. And all of the events that you guys are do throughout the year are online at varietybuffalo.org, right? It's varietybuffalo.org. Perfect. You can, um, reach your viewers should look at the, the website because sure there's a lot it. of information about variety um, um how to become a member Perfect. Um, how to donate most important yeah. how to donate <laughs> how to get involved with being a volunteer even if you don't you know don't have the time to become a member you may want to become a volunteer for some of our events specifically the telethon want to be a phone operator right you would either go go to our website there's an email address on there yeah or you can dial 716-854-7577 uh, and let them know either jessica our development director jessica rich 
or CLA um, works in our office. They'll take the information and pass it on to the chairman for the telephones. Perfect. Um, and now with now with measuring the telethon, what what is the telethon like for those that may have not seen one in a while? The telethon combines uh, um, all different people from all different walks of life. Okay, um, there's entertainment. There is a group of people from. As I said, all walks of life. You have your corporations that come on, you have your volunteers, you have the unions that are very big, you have the schools, the kids that are coming mm -hmm. in that might have raised money if they were able to hopefully this year in their so classroom. So you kind of see like a melting pot. Oh, melting pot. Of, of the, but the community coming together Correct. for our children. Correct. And it seemed like you got a, almost a little emotional there because you do understand that when we come together as a community, we're able to do powerful things. Absolutely. And you've seen it firsthand. Absolutely. Um, now, we talked about the Ridey Banquet Hall um, earlier this morning. Mm -hmm. Now, where is that located and who can use it and how do they go about that? Okay. We were formerly on Delaware Avenue and I'm going to guess maybe about eight years ago, I don't know exactly, I don't remember exactly, when we moved out to Lancaster, we're at 6114 Broadway. We bought this building, it was mm -hmm. a former Knights of Columbus, specifically because it had a banquet hall, okay. and we knew we would, instead of us going out to have a lot of our events, we were able do to do home. a lot of our do it, events. Do it inside. Do it, do it yeah. inside. And not only did that help us save some money from going out to, to have these events, but we were able to rent it. Okay. Okay. People have rented it for showers, for train shows, for um, birthday parties, um, all sorts of events can mm -hmm. be held there. You can. We have two halls. One is in the front, and it holds approximately 50 people. The hall in the back, which is being remodeled as I speak, as we speak here, um, that will hold up to 250 people, I believe. Okay. Now. Wow. We were limited in 2020, needless to say, even with the telethon, last year's telethon wasn't the telethon that people had known where you could just step in and, and drop money in the fishbowl. Um, we were limited. We had yeah. to make sure that we were, I, th I believe it was 50 people we were limited to. Okay. Um, so what happened at last year's telethon was we made sure that people had their scheduled time and we had to bring them in, escort them in and okay. escort them out. And we hit, did have a bank of app, phone operators there taking donations over the phone. Wonderful. But the credit card phones where people were able to call in, um, we have wonderful credit card promotions if you make a, yeah. a, a pledge by, um, um, a, by credit card, yeah. you're going to get some promotional items and they're, oh. they're great depending on what level you're at. But thanks to our friends from the union, CWA yeah. and I believe it was Region 9, um, UAW, Hall, we were able to put some operators out at their locations, as well. and that was a big help. To help you. Help. They, were able to, they were able to put some people at their locations to right. help you as and well. And we had phones set up there for, to take, take, take the donations, the credit card donations. Wow. So. Well, what's the best way to help Variety Buffalo? Donate. <laughs> Donate. <laughs> Donate, so but we're always, we're always looking for new members, and we're also looking for volunteers. So as I said, um, you can volunteer by calling 716-854-7577 for the telethon. I would suggest that you don't call for the telethon until after January. Okay. Because you don't want to get lost in the shuffle. But if, you, if you're interested in joining, call now. We'll send you an application. Awesome. Um, we, as I said, we have the Variety Club, which is comprised of men and women. Or we have the Variety Club Women which um, there are a couple of men that belong to it, but um, they are the auxiliary of the Variety Club. Awesome. So, After this quick break, I'll catch you up on all of the good events and news happening here in Western New York in my segment, Jordan's Good Events and News. Then we'll continue our conversation with Variety Buffalo. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Good Deeds Buffalo. I'm your host, Jordan James. We're here with my guest, Diane Cuchel with Variety Buffalo. This is my favorite part of the show because I get to give back to those who give without asking for anything in return. My friend Jesse from West Seneca, who is a 200-hour certified yoga teacher focusing on restorative and gentle yoga, loves what Variety Buffalo does for our community and donated a personalized relaxation session for you and the staff and board of members at Variety Buffalo. She'll focus on simple and gentle movements to create space in your bodies while she connects your breasts with your minds. Wow. 
Well, thank you. We definitely will. <laughs> How does that good sound? How does it excellent, sound? <laughs> excellent. I'm sure you guys could thank use it you. And, 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 you know, be able to relax a little bit. Now, I also reached out to Double Eagle Embroidery, which has been servicing Western New York since 2002, and has supplied Western New York with top quality embroidered screen printed apparel, as well as other specialty products. With a talent, talented staff coming from all areas of custom embroidery and promotional product industry, Double Eagle Embroidery can meet any challenge and exceed your expectation with fast turnaround times, competitive pricing, and low minimums, Double Eagle is sure to become your go-to shop. And they love what you are doing, mm -hmm. and they want to make sure you're dressed in Buffalo style with this Bill's Mafia sweatshirt. Wow. Well, thank you, Double Eagle. This next gift is sponsored by Dare to Dream Graphics. The owner, Danielle, knows firsthand the importance of participating in the communities we live in as a member of Niagara Rises. Niagara Rises is a nonprofit organization committed to providing support, resources, and network opportunities to organizations working towards strengthening Niagara County. I would like to give you this plaque naming you a 2021 Good Deeds Buffalo honoree for showing Aww. your commitment and support to the communities of Western New York, Diane. Oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, and I will share this with my fellow volunteers and members. Thank you. Thank now, you. we're so glad to have you. Now, do you know someone you would like for me to highlight for their good deed on Good Deeds Buffalo? This person would be involved in the community and oftentimes our beacon of hope and kindness. Head over to gooddeedsbuffalo.tv and fill out the quick and easy nomination form. If selected, we'll reach out to you for more information. Again, thank you so much for coming on the show, Diane. You can learn how to help Rite Aid Buffalo, the Rite Aid Children's Charity of Western New York, online at gooddeedsbuffalo.tv. I want to thank our sponsors, Yoga with Jesse, Double Eagle Embroidery, Dare to Dream Graphics, and WBBZ TV. The telethon is Saturday, Sunday, March 5th, and 6th, Saturday night from 6 until 11 on Channel 2, and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on WBBZ. I'm Jordan James, and this is Good Deeds Buffalo. Thanks for watching. Remember, hate is in the moment, love is forever. Yeah.